Sister Campbell, I asked her for this before she passed away and she gave it to me and, and I just so appreciate it and I read it all the time. Yes, Listen, in Genesis, he's the breath of life. Amen. In Exodus, the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's our high priest. In Numbers, the fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's Moses' voice. In Joshua, he is salvation's choice. In Judges, he's the lawgiver. In Ruth, the kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings, he is the powerful prophet. In Chronicles, he's sovereign. In Ezra, true and faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of broken walls and lives. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In Esther, he's Mordecai's courage. In Job, the timeless redeemer. In Psalms, he's our morning song. In Proverbs, wisdom's cry. In Ecclesiastes, the time and season. In the Song of Solomon, he's the lover's dream. In Isaiah, he's prince of peace. In Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. In Lamentations, the cry for Israel. In Ezekiel, he's the call from sin. In Daniel, the stranger in the fire. Mm -mm -mm. In Hosea, he is forever faithful. In Joel, he's the spirit's power. In Amos, the arms that carry us. In Obadiah, he's the Lord, our savior. In Jonah, he's the great missionary. In Micah, the promise of peace. In Nahum, he is our strength and our shield. In Habakkuk and Zephaniah, he's pleading for revival. In Haggai, he restores a lost heritage. In Zechariah, our fountain. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he's God, man, Messiah. In the book of Acts, he's fire from heaven. In Romans, he's the grace of God. In Corinthians, the power of love. In Galatians, he's freedom from the curse of sin. In Ephesians, our glorious treasure. In Philippians, the servant's heart. In Colossians, he's the Godhead Trinity. In those Thessalonians, our coming king. In Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, he's our mediator and our faithful pastor. In Hebrews, the everlasting covenant. In James, the one who heals the sick. In first and second Peter, he's our shepherd. In John and in Jude, he's the lover coming for his bride. In Revelation, he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is, he is, he is. The Prince of Peace, the Son of Man, the Lamb of God, the Great I Am. He's the Alpha and Omega, our God and our Savior. He is Jesus Christ the Lord. And when is no more, when time is no more, he is. Amen. Amen. Amen.